in the quadrant in which each ordered pair lies. Okay, so if you remember the signs for the quadrants, you could easily just name the quadrants without having to graph everything. So I'm going to say quadrant 1 was a positive, positive. Quadrant 2 is a negative, positive. Quadrant 3 is a negative, negative. And quadrant 4 is a positive, negative. So let's see if we can uh, label these. Positive, positive A. It's a positive 3, positive 5. So this is going to be quadrant 1. 4, 0. Well, it would be over 4 and not up or down. So it's not in a quadrant. In fact, it falls on the x-axis. Negative 5, negative 3. Well, it's going to be a negative and a negative, so that's quadrant 3. 0, 2. That would be 0 and up 2. And notice that also does not lie in a quadrant, but lies on the y-axis. We have a negative and a positive, and that's represented by quadrant 2. And then we have a positive and a negative, and that is quadrant 4. So by knowing the signs, the positive or negative that goes with each quadrant, you can save yourself time from having to graph all the ordered pairs. But if you don't feel sure about that yet, it's better to just graph the pair and then find the quadrant. Thank you for watching educator.com.